Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel for anyone that's new around here. My name is Chris. And I'm Medina. We're a full-time eBay reseller couple based out of Aberdeen, Scotland. So we managed to get to two car boot sales again this weekend. The first one on Saturday was okay, but Sunday we picked up loads of stuff like we used to do a few weeks back. So we've got loads to get through, we'll fire right into it and show you what we managed to pick up. Adina, if you want to fire us into it. There we go. I picked up this big bad boy. Um, there we go. It is a book scanning for everyone. It's an optic book 3600, the simple solution to book scanning. So it uh, speaks for itself. There we go. It's never been used, so that's good. For me, I picked these up. I've never seen these before. So it's Simon, the book, the game, the electronic game you normally get. But it's glasses. I've never seen them before. And a couple of quid. We should do okay with them. There we go. I picked up this Monopoly. It, uh, it's not open. Um, it's an LOL Monopoly. We never had it before, although we have all the Monopolies under the sun. And I picked up Do, Do Vinci. Do Vinci, it's called. It's, um, it's a Play-Doh set for children. Picked up for a couple of quid. Should be good. For me, teddies are non not normally what I pick up this kind anyway. So you've got these Jack Willis ones. They're really, really well made. They're dated 2017, 2016. So only a couple of quid in, so then we'll see what we can do with them. Look at this beautiful dispenser set. I think it's so cool for whoever is into barbecues and then so on. Basically salt and pepper, oil and vinegar. Uh, they're new, they've never been used, so they don't smell of anything. They're not sticky. There's ooh, nothing wrong with them and they're not broken yet. For me, I had this 1993 Mr. Frosty's Play School set. It does have some accessories. I only picked it up because it was a vintage 90s one. We should do okay with it. It would depend what's missing, so we'll see. There we go. Let's start with my dolls. I picked up a LOL doll. It's a styling head. It's very nice. The hair is still in good condition, so that's okay. Um, and I also picked up this Ariel doll. Don't really go for these dolls, but uh, she was just one pound, so I said why not. So one of my favourite things to pick up is a Furby. If it's working, we should do well out of it. A couple of pounds into about £20. And then we have, again, the Avengers glove. We've had it in every other colour but red. So we should do well with this. If it's all working, we should make a nice profit. Next is Lala Loopsy dolls. Uh, they have been discontinued and uh, retired. So it's always good to pick them up because people still look for them for uh, completing their collection. I'm very proud of this little night lamp. Um, it's Aurora, it's a Disney lamp. It's very, very pretty and it's working beautiful. For me, a backpack this time. So we have this Sonic the Hedgehog backpack. It does come with a matching lunch box as well, a lunch bag. But the new movie could just come out not long ago. We should do well with this. So it's a Sonic backpack from me. Now I have this bag. Uh, I did not know what it was, I know now. It's called Paul's Boutique London. Um, apparently these were a thing back in the day, so hopefully someone's looking for this one because they're missing it from their collection. For me, next up is a board game. It's Discovering Europe, brand new complete. Uh, they wanted four quid for it, and I'm actually getting down to three quid. Should be an easy enough listing, and hopefully we do pretty well with it. How cool is this? It is a boxing bag and boxing gloves for... Uh, Boys, very cute, very pretty, of course, for girls as well. Um, it's a bit heavy, but um, very cool. Next up for me, we had this escape deck, which is the little tech deck. It's the half pipe. They had a few more bits and pieces, but they want a bit more money for them. I've had these in the past before, and they do well. Again, with its box, should be nice. And then we have this Kingdom of Hearts figure. Again, only a couple of pounds into it. Should be nice collectible, and we should do really well with it. Bags, I went for bags this week. Um, I have a, sp a spaceman on it, um, or an alien, I don't really know. Um, it's just a normal backpack, no brand or whatsoever. Um, a Super Mario case for pretty much any console that fits in there. Um, it's very cute. And also one of the aliens from Toy Story. That's a little bag as well. It's very cute. Except for me, not many video games this time. We picked up this Turtles game for the 360 and Minecraft. It does have quite a few scratches, so hopefully we can get them out. My favourite pickup of the week is this one though. It's there, so we have this, and we have this SP, only a couple of pounds into it, no charger, but we should do well with it. Bags, 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 there we go. Um, these two suitcases, this is Ariel, and this one is, um, God, what is her name? Cinder Cinderella, and this one lights up as well. Nice and cute, fairy light. Except for me is these mushy monsters. I don't tend to pick these up, but we got all of them there. We should make a nice bundle, sell them, got only colour pan into them and make a nice profit on them. More bags. That is a nappy changing bag. So um I don't 
don't know. I thought it had like a nappy changing pad, but it doesn't. Um, and this one is a Cars. blazing rail. I don't know. It's a cars one, but it's very pretty. I never picked this one up before. Next up for me, some plushies and dolls. We picked up this baby Shrek. I always do well with these and make good money. Baby Shrek there is the first one. And then we've got a couple of turtles. One, one slightly bigger, Mikey. And then one done there. We should do nice again, only a couple of pounds into them. Should make a nice profit. I went for Kevin the carrot and I don't know what the lady carrot and the baby carrots are called, but I have the whole family. Next up for me, some football shirts. So we've got some Scotland ones. Always only pick up adult sizes because they sell the best. One there in double XL. We have another Scotland one. I just need to find out what year they were released. They look a little bit older than the rest that I've normally picked up. So there. And then we have a local team. So we have Peterhead Football Club. One I tend not to see very often. So we'll see how it does. Nice football shirt there. Again, only colour pound into it and we should make a nice profit. Favourite of the week. Look at this beauty. A couple of years ago I made the bedroom um, oriental style and this would have been perfect but I never afforded one. So I found this beautiful piece for just a couple of quid. Pretty sure if I give it a good clean up someone's going to love it. Except for me it's one probably again I don't normally pick up but it's this VTEC smile system. Handheld game there but it does come with 20 games. So they're all in there. Cartridges are just inside there. Because I'll bundle them all up together, it won't be worth sending them individually. Make a nice bundle, perfect for Christmas, and we should do pretty well out of it. Now, I have a Barbie, a Barbie with, uh, with her little closet, and she has many outfits in there, and every little bits and bobs that came with her, uh, picked her up for a couple of quid, very pretty. I don't usually go for Barbies, because unless you know who is who, you're really lost. Um, and another Dyson Hoover, because we sell these absolutely every single week. For me, a couple of lightsabers, slightly different from what I normally pick up though. As soon as we get them in, they sell out straight away. A purple one, this is official Hasbro, so we I've never seen the purple one before, so we should do well. And then we have a boxed one there, Darth Vader's. The box does have a bit of rip on it, but we normally get them unboxed, and we should these should sell pretty quickly. Darth Vader mask, every single video you will see me with one, until I'm lucky and finding them. Um, but as soon as I show them in the video, Next thing you know, they're sold. So very, very good. Look out for these. Um, I'm very, very proud of this. This is a Hello Kitty sewing machine and it's an actual sewing machine uh, for children. It's in good condition and it's working and in its box, pretty sure it'll do a pretty penny. Next up for me is a few more Star Wars bits. We have a ship there and we have a Stormtrooper. We always sell the Stormtroopers. They display really well and should be a great add to anyone's Star Wars collection. Now, I have these book sets. Um, I have Roland Doll. Um, we all know that these go for very good money. It's full um, book set. And I also have this Dr. Seuss one. And they're all there. Very pretty, very good condition. Very happy with them. Next up for me, another thing we sell all the time are these wrestling belts. We've got a tag team belt there. We have the Intercontinental belt there. And then we have the Heavyweight Championship. Again, nice easy. They sell all day long for 10, 12 pounds. Fast return and quick sellers. I picked up these Adidas Nemesis football boots. They're in good condition still. Um, however, they are, I think they're for children. So I don't tend to pick them up for children, but they were in very good condition for a pound. I couldn't leave them there. And I have a Puma bucket hat, but it is also Manchester City on it. So I'm sure someone's gonna like this. Except for me, a couple more football shirts. We've got some Aberdeen shirts there, one there. Again, large sizes always do well for us. Always make sure you try not to get them with people's names written on the back. Unless it's a player, then it would be fine. And then we have another Aberdeen shirt then. Again, big size. All we'll do is find out what year it is, and we should do well with it. And now I have dolls. And I know my niece is watching and telling me off that I never know which doll is what. So there we go. An Ever After High doll. Hope it's right, Krista. And we have Equestria Girls. We have a purple one. I don't know their names individually. We have Rainbow Dash, that's pretty much Rainbow Dash. And we have another one, but they're with all their accessories and they were 50 pence each. Last couple of bits for me, we have here a bathroom clock. This is really cool. I think I've sold these in the past and done really well with them. There is a little bit of damage there on there, but it doesn't affect the use. And the Lego clocks, we always do well with these. They always sell out fast. Stone Tribute 1, as long as it's working, we should make a nice return. 
Um, I have this little dragon. It's an interactive toy, so it has sounds and so on. And I think it has movement as well. I haven't tried it because there's no batteries in it. Chris is saying that it's from the My Little Pony movie. There we go. And I also picked up this Guitar Hero on tour. It's a Nintendo DS. It's um, You basically plug it into your console and you have the game with it as well. I think it's cool. Got the little bits from your boggle again. There, complete in box. And a couple of quid into it. Should be a nice easy setup, perfect for Christmas. And then a Transformers model there of Optimus Prime again. Should do well and not a lot into it. There we go, a 12 inch figure that I stopped because I've been told to stop buying them because we have so many of all of them. However, the Panther is not one that we have too many times. So I picked one of these up. I like this little um, alarm clock. It's a Disney Winnie the Pooh alarm clock. Um, it, it was never opened, so very cute and two little dolls i think they are hair adorables yep i think, I think so, so. Yeah. that's coming up for me we have another giant spider-man we always pick these up when we can only a couple of pounds into it it should do well the only problem you got to watch out with these is shipping it because it's quite a big item but we should do pretty well with it right um I, I i've run out of uh, stuff to show but Done. I think this is the last thing Chris picked up. Call of Duty Black Ops um, glasses. Very cool. Just normal pint glasses. Very pretty. So that's everything. So what do you think? Again, massive haul on the Sunday. A nice haul on the Saturday as well. We've got some really nice bits. Keep me busy all week long. What sort of things have you been picking up? Don't forget to drop down in the comments below. Like and share the video. And thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. See thank you. Next you. Bye. Time. Bye.